All right, hey everyone, Joe Marler, Daniel Defense, and today uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the different configurations that we have in our semi-automatic guns. We get lots of calls, emails, asking about the different configurations, what differentiates one configuration from the other. So we're just gonna kinda roll through these real quick. I've got a nice big wall of guns here. I'm just gonna touch on uh, each of these configurations. So in the 5.56, 300 Blackout, and 6.8 SPC World, all of those guns are gonna be called a DDM-4. That's what's gonna be on the lower receiver. They're all multi-caliber lowers. We'll use the same lowers for three different calibers right now. I'm gonna start by showing you our V7P. Uh, this is actually a 5.56 caliber gun. It's got a 10.3 inch barrel with a SB Tactical SOB pistol brace, and this one actually has the, uh, the Law Tactical side folding adapter. So. This is probably one of our most popular configurations right now. You can get this in the Milspec Plus Brown Cerakote finish. You can get it in black. You can get it in 5.56 or 300 blackout. And you can get it with or without the Law Tactical Adapter. So while I'm holding this gun, I'm just gonna point out when you're trying to figure out what the difference is between all the different models, it's really what's from here to here, okay? It's what's in front of the upper receiver. So what type of barrel do I have on it? Is it a government profile? Is it a lightweight profile? What caliber is it? And what type of handguards go around that barrel? That is really what makes up that number right there, okay? So we're gonna move on to the next gun, which is gonna be our 300S. So this is also a 10.3 inch barrel. Chamberlain 300 Blackout's got a pistol length gas system and it's got a nine inch DDM4 rail, okay? DDM4 rail is a one-piece quad rail and it has integrated QD attachment points uh, on both sides. This is an SBR, so it does have an adjustable buttstock here, so this does require an ATF tax stamp uh, to purchase this firearm. The next rifle, this is our DDM-4 V1, okay? V1, this is our flagship model. so very first configuration we ever introduced. We introduced this configuration in 2009. This has a carbine length gas system. You'll see we've got a front sight post. It's got a 12.0 FSP rail on it, so you have some real estate out in front of the front sight comes with a rear sight. Even though this one doesn't have a vertical grip on it, it does come with a vertical grip. 16 inch barrel, this is actually an M4 profile barrel. And of course, a DD furniture. So again, going back to some commonalities, uppers, lowers, all of the internal components for the most part are all the same for every single configuration. There's no difference until we start getting into some of the guns that are down on the far end of the wall here. So staying in that carbine length gas system category, we've got our Mark 18. Mark 18 is 10.3 inch 5.56. It's got the RIS 2 Mark 18 handguard. This is the short RIS 2 that we provide to SOCOM. Semi automatic, uh, ambi safety selector, and of course, DD furniture. So the big brother to the Mark 18 is going to be the M4A1. So this has a 14 and a half inch barrel. We're still in that carbine length gas system category. It's got the RIS 2 M4A1 handguard on it. This is a rifle length handguard, so you can put this over a low profile gas block on anything that's 14 and a half inches or longer. Or if you have a rifle length gas system gun, like an M16 full size AR-15 with a 20 inch barrel, this handguard would also fit on there as well. All right, moving into our most popular configuration gun. This is the DDM-4 V7. This has our Milspec Plus Brown Cerakote finish on the upper lower in the handguard. It's a 16 inch mid length gas system barrel and it's got the MFR rail 15.0, which has the M-Lock attachment system as your primary means for attaching your accessories. So you've got Picatinny on the top. On all of our handguards, you've got Picatinny on the top, but on the MFR rail, you have seven surfaces around the circumference to mount your M-Lock accessories. So one thing I'll point out right now, you'll see I've got uh, some key mod handguards over here. Anything that we make that is a V7 has M-Lock. Anything that we make that is a V11 has key mod. So just a real quick, easy thing for you to remember. If it's a V7, it has M-Lock. If it has key mod, it's gonna be a V11. So now I'm holding the DDM4 V9. Same upper, lower, internals, everything is the V7 we just looked at. Same barrel, it's got a 16 inch government profile barrel. The only difference between this gun and this gun is the handguards. So where this has a 15 inch M-Lock handguard, this has a 15 inch quad rail, the DDM4 rail. It's the only difference. Now we come up to the V11. So DDM4 V11, again, same as this gun, same as this gun. The only difference is we have a slim rail, which is a key mod handguard, and Picatinny rail on top. You have key mod on the sides and on the bottom. All right, next rifle we're gonna show you is the ISR. ISR stands for Integrally Suppressed Rifle. This rifle is only available in 300 blackout. You can see we've got the MFR Rail XL. This is a 15 inch handguard. It's covered with uh, the key mod attachment system. 
and we have an integral suppressor. So what's unique about this gun is that the suppressor reflexes over the barrel and it's permanently attached to the barrel back at the gas block. The overall barrel length from here to here or from bolt face to muzzle is just a little bit over 16 inches. So it's essentially a one tax stamp gun. You're getting a rifle whose overall length is about the same as an SBR with a muzzle mounted suppressor but you only have to apply for one tax stamp. It's optimized for both supersonic and subsonic ammunition and by far one of my favorite rifles to shoot here at Daniel Defense. All right, so now we're gonna jump into some of our Pro Series guns. Pro Series guns are designed to be an out of the box, ready to shoot competition rifle. Really the only thing you need is add an optic to it. So outside of the barrel that we put in these guns, we've also added a couple additional features. This is our V7 Pro. This is in our rattle can Cerakote finish. It's an 18 inch barrel. It's got a rifle length gas system and it's got an S2W profile barrel. That stands for strength to weight. So it's essentially a heavy barrel. It's got a lot of mass underneath uh, the handguards here. Some of the additional features that we've added to the Pro Series guns, we've got our muzzle climb mitigator up front. We have a Geisley Super Dynamic three gun trigger. It's a three and a half pound trigger. We also include a four and a half pound trigger spring. If you feel that's too light, you can put that in. And it's also got a BCM Mod 4 gunfighter charging handle. We know that most folks are gonna put some sort of low power variable optic on here, so we put an extended charging handle latch on here so you can get to it easily. Now we've got the V11 Pro, okay? Same gun that we just looked at. This one's in all black, um, but it's got the slim rail, okay? 15 inch slim rail, so rather than M block, we're doing key mod. And then this is a pretty unique gun in the 5.56 space for the DDM4 line. Uh, this is our Mark 12. This is the only semi-automatic firearm we make with a stainless steel barrel. The Cold Hammer Forge stainless steel barrel, rifle length gas system, we're using a true Mark 12 gas block. We've actually got set screws on the bottom holding that onto the barrel. There are dimples on this barrel. We've got the DDM 4 rail 12.0. This also has a Geisley trigger. This is the SSA, it's a two stage trigger. It's got two and a half pounds of take up with a two pound break. And it also has that BCM charging handle on there as well. Next is our ambush. This is really just an upgraded Daniel Defense rifle. You can see that we've got some Hydro Dip finish on here. This is Cryptic Highlander. We also do it in Realtree. But what you're getting here is 16 inch or an 18 inch barrel, depending on what caliber you choose. The 6.8s, 5.56, those are gonna be 18 inch barrels. The 300 Blackout, that's gonna be a 16 inch barrel. We put thread protectors on the end, so if you decide to mount a muzzle device or a thread on suppressor, it's really easy to get to. These also have the Geisley triggers, SSA, two stage, and that BCM charging handle on the back. This is the only gun that we offer in 6A caliber. We don't do any DDM4s in 6.8. We don't make any you know, tactical line, all black guns in 6.8. If you want a factory gun in 6.8, this is what you get. Of course, you could always go to our website, click on custom build, and you can build your own with a 6.8 barrel if you'd like. Last is gonna be the DD5 V1. So you'll notice receiver is much larger on this gun. So the DD5 line is going to be 308 caliber guns, okay? This is our DD5 V1. This is in our Deep Woods Green Cerakote. The V1 is gonna have a 16 inch barrel with a mid-length gas system. Uh, we have a V2 also that has an 18 inch barrel with a rifle length gas system. We offer key mod handguards for this gun. We offer M-Lock. It's also available in a lot of different color options. Not only the green, but you can get it in black, you can get it in brown, you can get it in gray. There's lots of different options and there's lots of different color options for all of our DDM4s. So one of the questions I get a lot is, one model better than the other? The answer is no, not really. If you got any questions, hop on the website, take a look. If you want to give us a call, give us a call, we're here. If you want to drop us an email, please do. We've got a whole crew of people here ready to help you out.